Hello and welcome to DrupalDude.com. Today I'm going to go over roles. By default, Drupal has two roles set up in it. We're going to go to access control here so you can see them. Actually, we'll just go to roles here. We have the anonymous user and we have the authenticated user. Anonymous user is somebody that is not logged in. Authenticated user is somebody that is logged in. Pretty simple. Um, anyone that is logged in is authenticated. So now what we can do is we can set these roles up to be able to do certain things. That's called access control. We can get to it from two different spots here. We can edit the permissions here for authenticated user. Now the authenticated user, this is what they can do. They can access the comments. They can, they can post comments. They can post comments without approval. They can access site -wide, the site-wide contact form. Um, they can access the content, so on and so forth. We'll go back here. The anonymous user can access the comments, post comments, but they can't post comments without approval. Access control here just shows them side by side. So now you can actually see, compare the different roles and what their access privileges are. So let's add another role. We're going to call this one an editor. They actually have a little bit more control over everything. So, editor, add the role, and let's view it via the access control so I can see all three of them side by side. And what I want the editor to be able to do is I want them to be able to administer the comments. They can post comments, they can post comments without approval and access. So now we're taking it one step further. They can actually go and approve comments by somebody. They can access the site-wide contact form. They can access the content. But what they can also do is they can create story content. They can edit their own story content. I'm going to have them to where they can edit, being that they're the editor, they can edit any story content. So if we were to create another role called a writer, we would allow them to write their own story content and edit their own story content, but the editor can actually edit it. They can create URL aliases to where that's, I showed that in a previous post, how you can actually change the URL path. And they can, let's see here, anything else that we want them to be able to do? Administer taxonomy so they can create their own categories if, if needed. They can also access the user profiles and administer users. So now we have the anonymous, which has bare bones. We have the authenticated. They can view it and post comments without approval. And the editor can take it one step further. We'll add one more in here. Writer, so you can get a better understanding. And well, let's look at them all side by side. Now the writer, what we want them to be able to do is access the comments. They cannot administer, but they can post, and they can post comments without approval. Access the site-wide. We want them to access the content, but here's where we're going to change this. They can create story content, and they can edit their own content, but they cannot edit anybody's content. That Only the editor can do that. And we will allow them to create their own URL aliases and they can schedule and they can admin taxonomy and save permissions and now what we have here is anonymous user, authenticated user, editor, and writer. Next thing is how do we assign people to these roles? So now we have these roles. We go into users here now I only have one user, which is me, but you'll see here if I go to edit, I can assign myself. I'm already an authenticated user. Everybody's authenticated. But what I can do here is I can assign myself as an editor and a writer, or I can just sign, assign myself as an editor. So when somebody logs in, what you would do is you would have control over their role, and now you can say, okay, I want this person to be the editor. And from that point on, they have all the editor privileges. That's roles in Drupal. Pretty powerful. You can just keep continuing. And all modules have their own access privileges. So whenever you install a new module, you want to make sure 
that for each role you want to give them the right access privileges. That's Rolls in Drupal, and we'll see you next time on DrupalDude.com.